What's up, guys? Could Sam Bankman Fried be killing the Binance and Voyager deal? Could Sam, even in custody, still be fighting and wanting to take down his nemesis, CZ, over in Binance? I'm going to cover what's going on with Binance and with Voyager and why this acquisition of Voyager's assets by Binance US is under high level scrutiny. So just a few days ago, Binance US said that they were going to buy Voyager. But then recently, a few days ago, there is an investigation going on into this acquisition. And it's from the CFIUS, the US Committee on Foreign Investment in the US, which is a body that vets foreign investment in US companies for national security threats. So this body looks at any merger, acquisition, or takeover, quote, by or with any foreign person that could result in foreign control of any US business. And we know that CZ is Chinese. So they are basically saying, hey, we wanna make sure that if CZ buys this company, they are not going to present a national security risk. And it's really kind of amazing that they are looking into the acquisition to see if it's going to, quote, raise national security considerations. CZ has been a part of the crypto world for a very, very long time. So why do I think that Sam could be behind this possibly? Well, Sam had a lot of connections in DC. And one of the reasons I believe that their TIFF happened, which crushed FTX, was because Sam wanted to get regulations passed that would help FTX, but also kill Binance or hurt Binance. So they were fighting against each other. Sam had a lot more power in Washington. He gave, I believe, a lot more money to political candidates and politicians. So he wanted to basically get ahead of Binance. But ultimately, as we know, that caused FTX's demise. But there's another reason that they could be looking into Binance. There's a lot of evidence about fraudulent or potentially fraudulent transfers between the US entity of Binance and the international entity of Binance. So the government could be looking at it from this perspective as well. Is there really a separation between Binance US and Binance International? And even though Binance US is based in Palo Alto, will they have total control over it? Or is it going to be Binance International which is essentially run by a Chinese person. And will that produce national security risks? So what does this mean for Voyager customers? Well, right now, we're just waiting. We're waiting for this investigation to take place to see if the essentially the government is going to allow Binance US to purchase Voyager's assets so Voyager customers can get their hair cut leave, withdraw their crypto, and move on with their lives. And right here, the next time that Voyager will be before the judge is going to be January 24th. So we have about three weeks or so. And I'm really hopeful by January 24th, there will be more information about the investigation that's going on looking into this acquisition. So if you're in Voyager right now, there is literally nothing to do. This is in the hands of the government at the moment. If they don't allow Binance to purchase the assets, there may be another bidder that we don't know about. And if there is not another bidder that can actually acquire these assets, then most likely it would go under a chapter 11 liquidation. All the assets would be sold and everybody would get their US dollar equivalent amount on the date of the bankruptcy filing. So we will see what happens, guys. That is it for the video. I do think that Sam has a play in this. I know that's a bit of a conspiracy theory, but this guy has high level connections. And even though he has an ankle monitor, even though he can't leave his parents' house in Palo Alto, he could still be absolutely pulling the strings and wanting to take down his nemesis, CZ over at Binance and just basically screw Voyager, screw Binance and just, you know, take the whole thing down. So guys, we will see what happens. Just hold tight. And I hope you guys are having a good New Year's. Till next time, guys, talk with you soon and bye for now.